to my channel if you're new here. Hi, I'm Sonia and I'd love it if you could subscribe and if you're already an existing subscriber, welcome back. So today is going to be my update for the I Heart the Nantes project pan. So this is a Pantastic Ladies Collab Facebook group project and it was created by Laura and I'll make sure as always to leave Laura's channel below and this is a prompt based project all about the 90s. Now I was born in 93 so there are some prompts here that I may not know but towards the later end of the 90s any prompts from that I do remember. I can roll two prompts out this month so that means I can roll two prompts in at the end. So what I will do is I'll talk about the two prompts that I can roll out and the product associated with it. It. then I'll talk about the prompts I'm still working on and then at the end we're rolling it to new prompts so without further ado let's get into it if I've missed anything I'll make sure to leave it below so the first prompt I can roll out is butterfly clips and that is cute packaging and for that I brought in the Colourpop Star Wars the Mandalorian the child palette now do I need to explain why I brought in for cute packaging is that just not the cutest thing you've ever seen I love baby Yoda and to be fair, I originally had this on display because I bought it mainly for a display piece, but then actually thought, I really should be using this. I don't want it just sat there. I mean, I've used the outer box as, as a display piece anyway, so I just wanted to use this one five times. I've managed to use it a fair two to get my five uses, and I've pretty much used nearly all of the colours in this. I think you can see I've obviously favoured this one a lot. I've also used this one a lot. I've used these maybe once or twice. I've used this one. I've used that one. I was a bit nervous about using that one, but I used it. And I think the rest I haven't used. I've maybe used this one once. So I've really tried to use a lot of these shades when I was using it five times. And this is, of course, staying in my collection. And it's actually made me open my eyes to realise I actually don't mind green eyeshadow and every time I've been wearing green eyeshadow it's been this palette so I can roll it out now and it's definitely going to be staying in my collection. And then the second prompt I can roll out is Titanic, this was one I rolled in last month and that is flip a coin, heads is high end product, tails is a drugstore product. So I got heads so I brought in this Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer, I just wanted to use this one ten times. And I managed to use it 10 times in this last update. So this is what it's looking like now. I mean, 10 times was never going to finish this because you really don't need a lot of this. Not my favourite. And I do think maybe over the next year I will want to try and wear this out of my collection. I think for me personally, I would just prefer to buy the e.l.f. Paula's Putty Primer. It's a lot cheaper. And I find that one doesn't break up my makeup around my nose area like this one does so I'm glad I managed to get my 10 use on it and like I said I think hopefully maybe the next year I'll try and write that one out of my collection because I don't hate it enough not to want to use it but it just like I said it breaks up all my makeup around my nose area about 10 minutes after I've put it on which isn't great and that's where I need that product. Okay so now let's talk about the prompts and the products I'm still working on. So the first one is Got Milk and that is a white product slash packaging and for that I am using the Fenty Cream Blush in Peach Face. So I want to use this one 10 times and I've used it a fair bit, three uses this update so I have six total uses on it now. So I've just dug my nail into this. I, I did this with another one as well. <laughs> I did it with my other Fenty Cream Blush, I managed to dig my nail in it. So this is what it's looking like now. I, I used a brush on this when I was at my parents' house and that brush just molted and as you can see, there is a hair on it there, so that's what that is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like this, I think it's a really, really nice colour. I already love the formula of this anyway, so I have a fair for four uses. I think I'm going to prioritise this to try and get those four uses so I can have this rolled out next update, but absolutely love that formula. The next prompt is Easy Bake Oven, a product that is easy for you to pan. So I introduced this last month. I did have a face mask in which I hadn't even started and also it wasn't for my skin type. So I decided I'll just pass that along to my sister, which the mask will suit her skin type. And I brought in this and this is the Sol de Janeiro body spray and I was all the way at the top and now I'm here. So I will have this done by next update. This is a really, really nice scent. Very, very sweet. 
but it is so nice. It is pistachio and salted caramel. So this has been a perfect scent for this time of year. I want to finish this, which like I said, I don't think I'm going to have a problem by next update. So this should be rolled out as well. And I've used it 23 times. So this is at my work desk and I've been trying to spray it at least twice a day. And yeah, really, really, really like that. Don't think I would repurchase it because this Sol de Janeiro brand is expensive. I don't think I'd pay their prices for a body spray. I've got lots of body sprays in my collection, but it's still really nice and I really love the scent of it. The next one is Thelma and Louise, and that is a duo product. And for that, I have in the Zoeva Spice of Life palette. Now, I only use a blush in this one because I'm not a massive fan of the highlight at the moment anyway. Maybe when I pull this back out again in the future, I may try the highlight and see if it's more to my taste then. But right now, I'm not a massive fan of this, so I'm just focusing on the blush. Now, over this past month, I have been trying to hit pan in my NARS blush, so I may not have as much use on this as what I might have if I wasn't focusing on that. But I have used it two times. I do just want to use it ten. Overall, I'm at six uses now, so hopefully, if I can get pan in my NARS blush, which I'm not holding my breath, I sh may may have this rolled out by next month. If not, definitely the month after. Hopefully. But I mean this palette is okay. I don't think it's the best. And because I do only focus on the blush as well in it at the moment, it's taken me a little bit longer to use. Um, and I th was it this that I thought I made a cutter at the end? I'm not sure. Um, but I think I will keep it in my collection and just maybe bring it out again in the future. The next prompt is Cowabunga and that is a beach themed product. And for that I bought in another Sol de Janeiro product. This is the Rio Sunset Glow Oil. So like I said last update, I really was surprised at this product because I thought I wasn't going to like it, but it leaves just such a beautiful glow to the skin. It does have glitter in it, but I feel like you only notice it if you're in direct sunlight and it's shining on you. But I mean, even then, it's not over the top glitter, it's just the perfect amount. And I want to use this 10 times. I only used it two over the last update. And I mean, I if I really focus on it, which I could have, I may have had this rolled out this month. I don't know whether I'll have this rolled out next month. Seven, so I only have three to go. I may, I may not. I usually put this on when I'm wearing a strappy top or if I'm wearing like shorts or a skirt. So I haven't used this as much as what I could have, but you know, two uses is better than none. The next prompt is what's up a product that is part of your morning routine so i brought in my ultra sun spf 30 and i have used this 19 times i do want to finish it it definitely feels way more top heavy than what it did last update when i introduced it and even then it felt top heavy so maybe next month maybe the month after that but this is one of my favorite spfs one of my holy grails absolutely absolutely love it and yeah, this is in to finish. And then last but no means least, we have inflatable furniture, a lightweight airy product. And for that, I brought in the Pestle & Mortar Hydrate Lightweight Moisturiser. So this is my progress. I started it was there and now I'm here. I really like this product. It leaves my skin looking so hydrated and I really love the way that it feels on my skin as well. I know it's a lightweight moisturiser and I have dry skin, but I feel like even then it still adds the perfect amount of moisture for my skin and I absolutely love it and I'm really really surprised the one thing for me though with this is it smells weird but I can get over it because I really do like the way that it looks and I want to finish this as well and I've used it 12 times so this isn't the only moisturizer I'm using I'm using another one as well so this isn't getting my entire focus but I'm still using it and I'm I'm enjoying it. Okay, so now we're at the point where I can roll in two new prompts. So I have my wheel up here. I'm just gonna turn down my brightness. Hopefully you can see this. So the first prompt. Is Miss Cleo a product you feel like is a rip off? Okay. And then the second prompt is Dunkaroos, food themed product. Okay, I struggled with that prompt 
for my throwback 30 so this may take me a while but what I'm gonna go and do now is I'm gonna go and get some products for those prompts and I'll be right back okay so I'm back and I have the products for the prompts surprisingly that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take the first prompt I rolled was Miss Cleo a product you feel like is a ripoff and this has been a product that's been in a project before I want to say it was maybe my project 10 uses when I was doing that on my channel and I'm going to bring in this and this is the Dolce & Gabbana Solar Glow Illuminating Powder Duo in Sweet Pink. Now the packaging on this, absolutely stunning, however the product itself, such a letdown and I'm pretty sure this is over £50 for this. I bought this as a treat for myself for my advent calendar last year when I did one and I just don't think that this product is worth over £50. It's nice, but it's not £50 nice. <laughs> so I'm going to bring this in for 10 uses. I'm not going to try and hit pan or anything. I just want to get some more use on it. The reason I kept it in my collection was because I bought it myself and it was expensive. So I do want to get my use on it. So that is the product I'm going to bring in because I don't think the product is as good as the value of what you pay for it. And then the next prompt I got was Dunkaroos, a food themed product. And for that I'm bringing in this Elemis Soothing Apricot Toner. I have had one of these before. To be fair, I don't think I would ever pay Elemis prices for a toner because my two favourite toners, which is the Body Shop one, which is £8.50 and then the Pixie one is £18. I have a feeling this Elemis one may be expensive just for this one which is a 50ml is £9. I started to write the value of the product on the back. That is the product I'm going to be bringing in and I do want to finish that. So that is my update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and it means the absolute world to me if you could subscribe if you don't already. And until my next video, thank you for coming by. See you later.